It's my past that defines me. When I was seven, I threw a tennis ball over the fence. <sighs> I'll never forgive myself for that. When I was 10, my goldfish struggled with an identity crisis, and I did nothing. When I was 15, I misspelled the word <sighs> taco. I should have known it was a C, not a K. <sighs> Indeed, I can never redeem myself for what I've done. My dark past is my shadow. <laughs> what? This is your dark brooding backstory? Well, that's the worst of it, yes. Well, it's certainly unique. For every character, there's a personality to boot. But characters aren't just born with their personalities, rather, it's their experiences that define them. Who they are, what they stand for, and what they believe in, this is where backstory comes in. Indeed, backstory is crucial for the development of a successful character. However, it's also one of the more challenging parts to tackle when it comes to creating an OC. So in this video, we're going to show you some tips, tricks, and suggestions for making an awesome backstory for your OC. So let's get into it. First things first, you're going to need to know who your character is, or in other words, you need to know their personality, or at the very least an idea of what the character is like and how they act and behave in certain situations. The backstory is what shapes the personality, so if you have a good grasp of the character's personality, then it's just a matter of working backwards. A helpful trick is to ask the question, why? For example, why do they hate fishing? Well, because they don't like being on boats. Well, why don't they like being on boats? Because they don't like water. Well, why don't they like water? Because they never learned to swim. Why have they never learned to swim? Because they're scared of what could be beneath the water. The trick is to continue asking the question, why? And this works for almost any situation you throw your character's way. Just try your best to answer each question as if you are the character, and fill in the blanks to match the personality you've set. It's important that you not only ask a lot of questions, but ask the right ones. For example, your character might be excellent at casting magic, so this might mean that they practiced a fair bit. Or perhaps they might have a natural ability. Maybe they had a teacher. Who were they? What did the character learn from them? It all comes back to knowing your character and asking the questions that would be most important to refining the backstory. It's kind of like a house, with each brick being a different event or experience. These experiences help define and shape who the character is. But like building a house, construction begins at the foundation, the beginning. So when thinking up a backstory for your character, another method might be to start at the beginning and work your way up. Once again, it comes down to asking yourself questions about the character. Where were they born and raised? What was their family like? What were they good at? What were they bad at? Did they have any friends? Oftentimes, filling out the early stages of the character's life will make it much easier to work on events, actions, and personality traits that the character develops later on. It's also important not to forget the defining events in a character's life. And these can be pretty much anything, but these events always directly impact the character's personality in one way or another. Perhaps making the final shot to win the basketball championship gave your character an abundance of confidence. Or perhaps your character was caught cheating on a test and is now much more cautious as a result. These events don't have to be massive, earth-shifting incidents, but they should affect how the character acts and behaves in the future. That is something I've noticed with many OC backstories, actually. So many people want to be a part of the grand adventure where their actions are what save the world. But this may not always be the best idea. For example, Dr. Wolf's backstory focused more on him being the observer rather than the adventurer, often given little choice to his own destiny until much later in life. A character who has little power to change himself or his surroundings can make for a more compelling story when it comes time for him to overcome a huge obstacle. By contrast, a character who has immense power and has shown time and time again that their struggles are marginal at best tends to be far less interesting for a reader or viewer. Now the amount of backstory you want to give your character is completely up to you, and it really depends on what you're using the character for. So, for example, if the character is being used as the main focus of an entire novel, then it might be best just to have more backstory developed as opposed to a small side character. It just depends on what use you have for the character, and how involved they're going to be in the world you place them in. For example, Given that Dr. Wolf had only a limited understanding of his surroundings and circumstances, it opens up a lot of questions for the reader or viewer to try and puzzle out on their own. 
which can help a great deal in creating a compelling story for your character. Don't try to provide all the answers whenever a question arises, as it can sometimes make your reader or viewer feel like you're holding their hand rather than trusting in their intelligence. But now we would love to hear from each of you. What sort of backstories have you come up with for your characters? Did any of these tips help you to rethink their personalities or struggles? Or perhaps you have a few tips of your own that we neglected to mention. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. So with that, I want to thank you all for watching this video, and with any luck, you're now well on your way to creating an excellent backstory for your OC. So if you enjoyed, then be sure to leave a like. As well, don't forget to subscribe, it helps support me for free, and it only takes a click. Also, don't forget to check out Dr. Wolf's channel for more excellent content. Link will be in the description and on the screen. So once again, thank you so much for watching, and take care everybody.